Hi, this is Keith at BuiltByKeith.com. All rights reserved, copyright 2011, and artistic expression implied and asserted. In other words, this is an authorship. If you have a home automation system in your house or a security system that's been custom programmed in any form or manner, you may be at threat for remote eavesdropping, primarily if you have internet connection or even a phone line or DSL connection, here's the situation. What if you had an irreputable home automation company or just an employee that was in that company that planted software code in the system because it is a computer system and allowed them to remotely monitor your conversations as well as video and audio, I mean even to the point of maybe bedroom or living room or office and parties, that kind of thing. Think about the power that could give over someone who's a politician, a lawyer, a judge, a small business owner, a multimillionaire, a stockbroker, all these other different things. Now, a new system that when it first goes in needs lots of customized repairs and adjustments. be very easy to leave it in for a couple of weeks, come in and come do a custom repair job or upgrade and take out the offending parts which are recording. So this may be one way that irreputable people can eavesdrop on good people, catch them in a little act of indiscretion, let's say it was an affair or let's say it was a party, they're talking about stock options and they're talking about you know, who said what, who did what, some insider knowledge. This is a you know, most evil, illegal way to capture information in other people's homes. Now what happens if the company goes out of business? that does the home automation or the home security system or the employees leave. First off, do you have a record of who's been in your house by person? Can you ever track them down five or ten years later know if they were ever convicted of a felony like theft or stealing things out of clients' homes? I mean, this is bad news here. And even, even letting a service person in to check for gas leaks or whatever, service person, if you don't know them personally, know the company, and reputable, be aware. It doesn't take much with all the technology that's available to plant something in someone's house that allows them to monitor and modify and eavesdrop and use that for blackmail or bribery or just insider information without the knowledge. So be aware and be cautious of home automation. Now one of the systems, and I'm not knocking the system, the one that's highly, highly customizable, it's a great system, is Crestron. You know, if it's a reputable dealer, you're fine. <coughs> I personally use HAI, and I also have some custom systems that no one knows about. Because I love electronics, been doing it for 30 years, maybe 35 years, at a microprocessor level. But just be aware, this is bad news. If you are ever you know, being bribed or something, just be aware that everybody has something wrong or do, does things wrong in their lives and that if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to worry about. Trust me. Now the bad guys have a lot to worry about because it only takes one slip up, one mistake, one misspoken word in court where they say no and they should have said yes and they won't say yes or no and can correct themselves. They're in deep trouble when the next court comes around for, I don't know, things like racketeering or fraud or bribery or whatever that happens to be. So just be aware that home automation is a great thing for your house, but it could also be an opening to your private life and your social life and your business life, especially at a home office. So be aware and welcome to the show. This is Keith at BuiltByKeith.com with brilliant ideas for you to protect yourself, particularly the righteous and the good people.